All right, guys, welcome back to Dirt Diesel Mechanic. Um, today we're working on a 2013 uh, Freightliner Cascadia J Cab with the Cummins ISX 15. So today I got my Power Probe out and I got a Power Probe out. As you can see, how Power Probe is hooked up. You got positive, negative. So that means this. Say, now I got it hooked up and this power, this, okay, explain how a power probe works, basically it's a glorified test flight, this tip, they touch power, I'll turn this down on, touch power, see the red symbol, if I touch it, it lights up, and then if I touch ground, it'll make a, a green and be a minus. Watch. Negative. And you got this toggle button that you can supply the circuit with power, 12 volts, battery voltage, and you can supply a ground. And, which is cool too, on the end of the whip, you got the end of this, you got a alligator clip for a ground very useful to use it all the time well this thing is having some starter problems starting problems and I looked at it before I turned this on it's having two issues so I'll show you all right you can see down there I don't know if you can see it uh, put the light down there see right there the start yeah guys are I'm going to try to explain this more. So yes, that was a starter cylinder as I interrupted my self-talk. <laughs> uh, you can see the, the arrow right there on the left side with that line going up. That's the power to the starter solenoid. Okay, the power comes from the ignition down when you try to turn the crank. Um, and it goes down to the clutch switch, which in turn goes over to the SAM cab and, um, and the SAM cab and out over by the air filter, the wire goes around and comes over on the driver's side to the starter. So when you activate uh, the starter and this starter to start, and it does power here, and it doesn't start, and you have my power probe hooked, and you get a power a shown a power there, that means that you, uh, you have a starter problem. Uh, but you have to do it a couple times. Sometimes it'll start, and sometimes you have an intermittent problem with the starter. And if it doesn't show a power, it could be your clutch switch. Um, usually it is, but if you have to go in depth more, the clutch was pretty cheap to replace. Um, and you can see the starter solenoid on the other side on the right, I'm pointing to that. So um, let's go back into uh, me showing you how to um, troubleshoot the starter solenoid and uh, the clutch switch and uh, so install I have it. have a, a wire going to... My power, my power probe comes with an extension, and I have using it as a jumper wire. Connected there, coming down, going over here, and it coming right here. And I connect this right to the tip of my right to the tip of my start. I mean my power probe, which is showing ground. First, I'll show you this. Make sure when you have this truck and you have to make sure it's chalked and out of gear. And that right now it's the ignition's off. You can start it this way too. But you can see I can push this, supply power, and can start the engine. You can, you can actually check if you have starter problems. See, the starter's not even activating. Hear it? Supply power. Okay, finally got to go over. So the starter's having problems. Watch. You can see the starter switch down there. I think we're supposed to be doing that. Now I'm going to test the clutch brake. The clutch switch, sorry, it's a clutch brake. <laughs> Turn this off, it's annoying sound. The clutch switch on these particular models, one the silver screw is. That's the clutch loop where this, this plug is right here. The yellow right there. The, the little yellow sticker, that's, you follow that up. 
to the Allen silver bolt. That's the, the black part that goes into that silver mounting. That's your clutch switch. All right, guys, you can see I'm in the cab with my power probe. As you can see, that red tip uh, of a wire. It, that's the, in the beginning. I same wire. It goes all the way, all the way outside the cab and onto that starter solenoid. So I have going to be showing you how to touch test your clutch switch, or you can touch your starter both of them. Um, so I'm going to put my fall away to the floor and try to turn the ignition. If you see power and the starter doesn't start, that means uh, you have a starter problem. And then if I push the switch down and try to crank and there's no power and no power that means probably have a clutch switch problem so you'll see a couple times here um, I'll do it and then um, it'll start and then it won't start and the clutch switch should be down a couple times and the clutch switch is on so both of them are acting up so um, let's go back to it live and you can see it for yourself I'll put the sound on that I'll put the sound on Let's see if I push my foot, I'll push as hard as I can. See it, my foot in the thing. Try to start it. It worked that time. Still the same spot. See, now it's not working. It worked that time. Nothing. Now, and the starter's not working, so the, the clutch switch and the starter are both having problems. Alright, so you replace both. So let's get that done. Alright guys, here's the part for the clutch switch we're going to replace right here, the clutch switch kit. Clutch switch kit is going to, this is going to be going in a uh, 2013 uh, J cab uh, Freightliner Cascadia. So, pretty much all the Cascadias take this switch. So, I'm going to teach you how to replace this. So, um, I know there's a lot of noise over there, but. <laughs> and so, here is what I use, I use to take it out, which is a, it's an Allen. This is a five, five thirty, five thirty seconds, five thirty seconds, and this is a little tiny gear wrench. You can buy them anywhere. I bought this one on particularly uh, off of uh, Amazon. By, it's made by Sunex, and it's just a little tiny. Uh, if you put bits in it for to use as a like a little a gear like a wrench a ratchet and these are kind of too big to get into this is a it's actually a four millimeter too so you could that will fit in there too um, you just kind of you could probably get that in there it's just really tight in there which I'll show you so let's get it out of there you can see up there I'm gonna need a screwdriver to get this clip off, or maybe you can get it out by hand. I don't know yet. We'll see. See the little Allen up there? I'll show you where I have a wrench up right in there.
I got here, the old one. Put the new one in. I got to the clutch that looks a little tiny. Micro switch. See? See? And two, there's two different ones. See? It's one of the micro switches from the button. When the pedal goes by, it pushes these. See? Swings and hits those. See? That's what we play today. Alright guys, we got us installed in. Put the plug back in. Installed in the new one up there. So, all installed in up there, nice and new, ready to roll. Thanks for watching Dirty Diesel, guys. Please, Dirty Diesel Mechanic. Thanks for watching Dirty Diesel Mechanic, and please subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks again for watching my channel. Uh, right there, hit smash that subscribe button. And here's some in more interesting videos of mine on the left or right. And I'll try to release a video once a week. And please leave comments or and like my videos or dislike, whatever. Um, it, if you'd like to donate to the channel, I have a PayPal account right below in the comments or in the description. Um, okay, and thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. Bye.